Welcome, Altura family. Um, it's a super great day for us today because we are here at the Eastside Art House in the heart of Eastside community in Riverside. Um, we are here with the owner, operator, and originator of the Eastside Art House. Um, I'm going to let him introduce himself, and we'll talk a little bit about this wonderful institution facility that's quickly gaining its name in Riverside and doing great things. So you want to introduce yourself, man? Yes, so my name is Juan Navarro. I am a local community artist here in Riverside, California. Uh, I've done over 12 public works um, and murals around the city. And uh, basically, I built this studio to support the local art scene here in Riverside. Well, that's what I love. I definitely love that aspect because there's been a lot of artists that come here from Riverside and um, it's kind of been separated but you kind of with this Eastside Art House have brought a lot of people together and as you say have created a marketplace. Um, what kind of inspired that idea and how do you go about it because it's not just you painting yourself it's you being the person making the budget it's you being the person who's kind of building the community so kind of kind of take us into that realm. So basically uh, I've been blessed with a lot of opportunity through my artist in residency through the Riverside Art Museum had put me in a position to uh, serve the Eastside community through these large scale collaborative murals. And now there's more murals definitely popping up all over downtown and even across Riverside. So it's introducing a beautiful renaissance um, era of art appreciation in our community at a higher level than it's ever been seen before. Um, but through my success, uh, I, I was very grateful for, but I also wanted to share this as well with other local artists. I felt like there was a need in our community for a landing space for anyone that just left college and said, you know what, I need to know how to be an artist. You know, I've seen a lot of, I've been to many art shows all, all across um, California, up to San Francisco, all the way down to LA. I've asked the questions, are the artists making money? Are, are these events um, profiting? And a lot of the times the answer was no. So um, a lot of artists are, are being artists at their own expense. And I, I believe that that was something that um, we needed to solve um, sooner than later because if Riverside wants to be the city of arts and innovation, we do need to find ways to invest into our artists. And how do we not only invest into the artists, but how do we uplift the artists at a, to a professional level so that, that way they can also serve our community at their best of, to ability. So it's kind of like a give and take. And um, I really love building this communal space so that we can have the artists work alongside each other, share how they write contracts, share who their leads are, and being like, hey, you'd be best fit for this project, or you'd be, you know, like, this is such a really cool spot where it is open office kind of style. Um, nothing belongs to one particular person, uh, but we all get to share the space, but not only share space, but business and ideas. Awesome, awesome. And so let's, uh, let's talk about some of the things that East Art Art House is doing, the projects that um, may be going on right now, and uh, what we got planned coming up. Yeah, so um, East at Our House is filled with so many artists, and there's so many artists doing independently so many different things. So just because you're working here doesn't mean you need to collaborate with us. There's definitely um, people that work out of here that also do a lot of things independently because there are professionals and capable people as well. You know, this idea of starving artists and like, oh, not being responsible, not showing up on time. There's definitely a lot of responsible, really cool people here now that the space and the platform is given to them. So uh, one example, one of our studio members, uh, Miriam, uh, she's opening a paint and sip uh, art studio business coming up. Um, it's going to be off of Arlington. That's coming up. Um, another studio member, or Lovey, she just got commissioned um, by the city of Riverside with Philip and the mayor, and they are doing a beautification initiative. And this painting has been sponsored by local businesses at the Magnolia Marketplace. So we're doing a really cool um, mural that involves uh, the post office and an envelope and saying with love from Riverside. So that one's going on right now. I'm actually um, helping um, with that as well. I'm also doing another uh, mural over here off Arlington uh, at our local barber shop. That one's a little bit more private, right, commission. And But as the East Side Art House, as a collective, what are we doing all together? Um, we're gonna be doing a art show coming up on September 17th um, from 6 to 9 p.m. And we want you guys to come out and see what the East Side Art House is made up of. Um, we have some of our top artists from our studio collaborating on this big show. And this is the first time we've ever doing an art show, so we're looking forward to having you guys there. Awesome, and some of these pieces are gonna be at the show, right? Yeah, so there's, yeah, so there's a few of these pieces. I would say these um, first initial three are for sure gonna be on the show. We're all painting actually in the same dimension, and we're also pricing our piece at the same price. That's just to show some solidarity. Um, 
in in the fact that we're in it together and we also want to we also have a goal to sell a hundred pieces of art um that night so not only is that is there's only 11 original art pieces, but there will also be prints for sale there. And for those that maybe not interested in prints, there will definitely be smaller merch like um, stickers and pins and, and other things that you guys could go ahead and support artists through. Any Anytime you spend a dollar on an artist, just know that these artists are locally and that money stays locally. That money is spent here locally as well. So um, I definitely believe in the macro sense of economics and also supporting our artists and knowing that these artists will eventually just go up to go up to Michael's down the street and spend it here on Michael's, right? So it's like, um, you know, or going to Earth Palette and buying some art supplies from there. So it's just good for all business. And, and art does attract a culture and community of young adults that we get to have um, and experience creativity um, within our communities and stay here. What do you feel is the importance of keeping a facility like this in the neighborhood that you grew up in, right? In the neighborhood that you live in right now, right? Um, can you speak to that? Yeah, so it's super important that um, we have tons. Riverside has, a, has a tons of talent um, being born every day, meaning um, me growing up in in Bryant Elementary, receiving presidential awards, you know, for like my my my, I actually did my homework, right? So these kids and these students, and they're becoming, they're going to become the future professionals. So it is good to keep the professionals that were born here, that were that were invested in through our education system here locally, to also build and strengthen our local economy. So it is very important that when when someone thinks about I want to be an artist, they don't think about I'm going to move to Miami, I'm gonna, I'm going to move to LA, and I want to spend my money there and give my talent there. Instead, we want them to think, hey, look, there's a platform here in Riverside where I can become an artist. And if I'm taking courses here at RCC or UCR to being an artist, I can stay locally and build the art scene here. Um, that goes the same. Not only is this an example for artists, but it goes across the board. I'm talking about software engineers. I'm talking about lawyers. Anyone that's talented, that there is pride in this city. And I feel like art can really usher that um, renaissance of keeping local, keeping our local talent, and keeping our community here across generations. That's why who owns the homes here? The community owns the homes here. Who inherits these homes here? Our children inherit the homes here, not outside investors from other countries or other, other states that, are, that, are taking, that, that would take um, from, from the market that belongs to Riverside. That's, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful idea, and you're living it out. Lastly, um, I just wanted to ask, you know, how can um, how can the normal resident, average resident, um, and then also, you know, any business that that wants to support, how can they get involved within this? Um, I think it's just really finding um, creative talent in your neighborhood and just letting them know about us. This is uh, very uh, an easygoing. We don't push marketing super hard um, because we want kind people to be around here too. This is a collaborative space, so inherently these people love to share. Uh, <laughs> so if you're willing to share a, a communal space to create your artwork, but also know that the perks that come with that is being able to paint alongside um, artist professionals and learn the, um, the tips of the trade, then this is the right place for you. Another way is just coming out to our art shows and, and investing in artists, commissioning them, and being able to uh, continue to, to invest in something that brings joy and improves the quality of life, not only of our neighborhood and, a, and the mural scales, but also even in your home and making your home feel more personalized um, by having original pieces made by our local community members and artists.